So wow, where do I even start? This thing is awesome. I'm really gonna try diligently not to sink this thing. That's goal number one. So this is the Boat Rover Arrow. It's an inflatable. Um, it's kind of like a hybrid between a mini skiff and a paddleboard. Uh, you can use it just as a paddleboard if you want. I have paired it with a Honda five horse. I did that because I did not want to be in the Gulf of Mexico and have to worry about issues with my motor. We all know how good the Honda motors are. Some say Suzuki. I would have gone with either one. It just happened to be the Honda was available. Um, it also comes with fins. So if you don't have the engine on and you want to use it just for a paddleboard, these slide up underneath. Uh, this thing is a perfect setup for me for fly fishing. The anchor is still a work in progress. I'm going to install a cam because these cams, they're not, they can't hold the weight. You can see this one's already getting ready to give. And I just have a five pound weight on there. But it's really important because if you're setting up on triple tail on the crab pots or um, tarpon, you're going to need to have the ability to kind of anchor up and hold in place for a little while. So I plan on using this over in the flats just east of Boca Grande come springtime. Hopefully it's still intact. Um, I don't say that because it's not a quality thing. It's a me being rough on stuff thing. But this thing looks pretty durable. Um, I had a Lono, which I really liked. The one thing I will tell you as a fly fisherman, it had a much higher profile. So if you've ever hooked into a tarpon or a large fish and then had him spit the hook, you know how the velocity of the hook will come back and it'll hit the side. I've chipped the clear coat on my boat. So the nice thing about this is it's got a lower profile. You're gonna only have about this much out of the water. And so it's gonna be a lot easier not to, not to run into that. Now, the first thing I think when I look at this is line management, and honestly, I don't have a clue yet how I'm gonna really work that one out. I may remove the cooler. Um, I do stand 90% of the time anyways. But for now, I'm gonna keep it for the first time and just kind of run it through its motions to see what happens. A um, Couple other things I, I really like is the grab rack. I won't keep these here. I'll put these down here where the where the paddle is now because I, I don't want anything in the way. It's already gonna have a lot of stuff in the way for, for throwing the line out there. I'm trying to keep my line managed. I've already took all the webbing off the front to stop it from, from having an issue there. So I have a GoPro mount. It's gonna just screw in here. And so that'll be one, one more thing for me to get tangled up on. Hopefully, I don't think my line's gonna go this far up. It, doesn't, it wouldn't make any sense. But that's kind of how that hooks in. Uh, this is for a light. Um, I, do, I do do a lot of dock light fishing, but I'm pretty pumped. And I think this thing's gonna be awesome. I will do some more video when I'm on the water, but I wanted just to walk you through everything to kind of show you what it looks like because I think it's really cool. And the best part for me is I can just throw this in the back of my Explorer and not have to, I don't want a trailer. I don't wanna have to deal with a bunch of extra stuff. It takes me an extra 25 minutes this thing blows up really quick. It's got an inf wireless inflatable paddle, excuse me, air pump, which is right here. And that thing blows it up really quick. And then you have a paddle board sheath. Again, I've, I don't want anything on the front because of line management. I don't think I'll have an issue, but I, I just don't like to have anything extra if I don't need it. So I'm probably gonna remove all three of these. I think these are light cams kind of, but they don't, they don't hold up with a lot of weight. So I'm gonna take these three off. I'm gonna mount a cam here and then just have the line, the rope. And I just let my rope float. I don't care as long as it's not in the way of the paddle board. First thing, I will never ever have this engine running when I have my fly line out. I've learned that a long time ago, so. It does have two air chambers, so you have one here, and this blows up the top. And then you have another air chamber back here. 
So you start by blowing up this bottom chamber and then you blow up the top chamber. I really have, I have put in some serious holes in, in the Lono and it held enough air for me to get back to the boat ramp. Um, that was something that was, you know, I, I was very curious about cause it was out in the middle of the night, but no, it holds, it holds air. So even if you do run into a little bit of a problem, generally you have enough time to get back unless you like just slice it all up on some oyster beds and then that's kind of on you. So, um, you know, just be careful, know your area when you're, when you're running around and, uh, I'll shoot some more video when I get on the water. Thank you.